بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my name is Muhammad Al-Dabbagh and uh, today inshallah I'm going to explain or give a demo about our project uh, me and my colleague Muhammad al Mani did for the CUE 449 uh, network security course our project uh, is a graphical authentication system so basically this is the outline of the presentation or the demo uh, I will show my system and I will show some aspects of the of the system uh, these are some check boxes that I used in order to uh, uh, give an outline for the demo so first of all I'm gonna show you the form validation the client side form validation of our system okay so let's go in so first of all this is the registration page now in order to test my form validation I will just click on register here as you can see that without refreshing the page I got the these validators for example here it's empty so it gave me username field was found empty and the same for the password also the method of choosing my uh, uh, my image retrieval from the user uh, also here for the number of clicks let's say that I'm gonna choose this username the bug let's register again so we see uh, the username changed uh, the I mean the validation but now also the other ones uh, are still there because they're empty uh, let's go and click for example uh, I said here that the password should be more than six characters so if I click three characters let's say one two three it will give me an error here password should be more than six characters also for the username it should be more than three characters so if, if I say VA for example it will give us this three characters also here if I'm using more than nine nine uh, clicks for the password so this is ten ten clicks it will give me an error also if I use two for example it will also give me the same error so uh, form validation is used basically to prevent uh, wrongful data to be uh, inserted into the database so I can say that uh, form validation okay check let's go to login plus server side validation okay uh, first of all I have to create my username let's say that I want my first username to be the of course let's me let me show you here the in the users database you can see that there are no users here so let us add the first user I want uh, my first my user to be the bug password one two three four five six and then I want to upload my image okay let me upload my image and uh, here in order to test the tolerance I will, I'll create two users the first user will have a small tolerance and then the second user will, ha will have a larger uh, a larger tolerance to test uh, whether the tolerance is working or not and let's say that I want three clicks okay let's register okay so here's my upload uh, here where I will upload my image I will choose a file okay this file is good actually I use this file because it has many features it has faces I can click on eyes noses or mouths of people and I can test my tolerance in a good way so okay I'll click continue now here I input my graphical user uh, password so let's click on the mouth of this happy guy and the mouth of this happy woman and the mouth of this happy woman so here I'm not putting a submit button like uh, in other places but uh, I want to redirect the user directly uh, to the to the other page or to the uh, to the final registration page because I don't want the user to enter anything at this moment so as you say, can say here is that you have entered the password you will be automatically redirected okay registration complete please log in now uh, I will create another user to test my tolerance now uh, I want to test also the server side uh, form validation so if I create another user let's call him the bug which is the same username of the uh, the first person I want to upload my image let's say three clicks you can see here that username already exists please go back and select another one this is called server side validation because 
the database is on the server so you have to go back to the server and check whether the name is in the database or not okay so uh, let's register for another user let's call him the bug2 password 123456 I want to upload my image now like I said here we're gonna pick a larger uh, tolerance level as you can see here that uh, I put uh, a warning here that increasing the size is pro prohibited because it will decrease security as you can see here that the size of the square is pretty big so I don't see any use for making it bigger also here because you can see it's very small so I'm I put a message that saying that decreasing the size is prohibited because it will become very difficult for you as the user so it's not user friendly so let us pick the largest possible tolerance so the number of clicks is three okay let's register this user I will choose the same image which is faces I'll upload I will choose the same password also continue let's choose the same password for the user so mouth mouth and also the mouth okay so what did we test now I tested the server side uh, validation uh, let's just mark it all at once now let's log in so our first user is called the bug one two three four five six let's log in okay so the password was what was this one this one and this one right so okay welcome to bug you have successfully logged in let's log in again with another user now let me show you something also here's uh, also here is the client side validation because the username is found empty uh, let's let's imagine that there's another user let's call him the bug 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 now let's see if I logged in I didn't create the bug 3 before right so now when I log in it will give me the credentials you have entered are incorrect because there's no the bug 3 user so now let's log in again with the bug 3 1 2 3 4 5 6 now as you remember that the bug had a smaller tolerance so let's click on this happy guy's chin 1 this girl's chin 2 and this girl's chin 3 as you can see the password is incorrect now let's try this with who the bug 2 who had what a larger uh, I'm sorry a larger tolerance 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so as you can see if I click on here here and then here I will be able to log in now let's check the tolerance 1 2 3 4 5 6 if you recall that when I clicked on the chins of these people with the bug who had the smaller tolerance I couldn't log in so one the chin two the other chin and three the other chin as you can see I managed to log in because he had a lot uh, the bug to the username called the bug to had a larger tolerance level than the bug the regular the bug user okay so let us check this out I logged in and I just tested the server side the validation using uh, uh, a name that wasn't in the database and also creating a username that is already in the database and I was able to log in and also I tested the tolerance and the upload of the image okay now let us test the webcam upload let us create another user let's call him Khalid his password is 123456 now I just want to capture the image using my webcam and I want three clicks okay let's register Okay, so I have to allow the camera. Okay, now here I'm gonna click on this. I'm gonna capture the image. Okay, I captured the image. Let's save the image. Please click on continue. Okay, I clicked on continue. As you can see, that the image was resized to 400, uh, 400 by 400. Now let's click on the here, here and here okay let's try to log in his name was Khalid one two three four five six 
as you can see the the, the picture or the image was uh, gone I retrieved the image from the database so let's click one two and three so I was logged in and verified okay so uh, where was this okay here so I tested my webcam upload now for the final thing that I want to demonstrate is that uh, everything that is sensitive uh, in regards to the user uh, and what is saved in the database is encrypted so let's go to the database now I remember we created three users the bug the bug two and Khalid as you can see here that the password which is they're all the same password which is one two three four five six so you can see here all are encrypted and the coordinates for the graphical password is also encrypted because you can as you can know somebody can uh, hack into the database if he did so he cannot know what the coordinates are now also I want to show you the encryption technique used so this is basically the code used for the encryption uh, I use the function called uh, function encrypt so what it basically does here is that let's begin from here uh, mcrypt encrypt is the basic uh, function used in PHP for encryption now uh, we have to specify some parameters for this function first parameter is the cipher text uh, <clears throat> the cipher text algorithm which is basically the encryption algorithm here I'm using uh, rain doll with a 256 bit key uh, as you can see uh, rain doll is the earlier name of uh, the advanced encryption standard let's go here Yes, so this is the advanced encryption standard. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's written somewhere here that the earlier name was Rainbow. And you can see here that uh, it has a 256 bit key, was, which is the one I'm using. Anyways, uh, here, here's the key for the encryption and the value that I want to encrypt. And here's the mode of encryption. Here, what it basically does is that it tells the encryption uh, algorithm or the encryption technique or the encryption function in PHP how to deal with sev with uh, multiple blocks because as you can know that uh, I, I have a string which is longer than the block size of the AES so it has to uh, segment the string into different blocks so basically what it's, sa it's saying here is this is ECB stands for the electronic codebook what it's saying is that each block will be uh, uh, input it in, input in the <clears throat> in the algorithm and then the key will encrypt it and e each block will be dealt with separately as opposed to something that we already know which is the CBC for example no the CBC is that uh, the cipher text from the earlier encryption or the block before right before it will be XORed with the plain text let's say for example that we have block n so the cipher text of n minus one will be XORed with plain text of n and then they input it to the encryption uh, algorithm uh, okay so this is for the mode now here is for M encrypt create IV so basically we need an IV now we can notice that in ECB it's not necessary to create an IV because everything is dealt with separately so why do we need this it's because the mcrypt encrypt function PHP uh, will give a warning if this was not mentioned as a parameter which is the initialize initialization vector uh, so uh, the initialization vector method will just uh, you have to give it the size of the IV you have to give you have to give it the size of the IV uh, which uh, in this case I'm using the uh, rain doll 256 and uh, so the the uh, the IV size of the rain doll uh, 256 key with mode ECB and then you specify a random number here the random number is a system generated random number that you can get using this method uh, so this is our project I hope you uh, understand uh, what I've just uh, presented for you and I hope that you enjoy <coughs> hope that you also you also enjoyed what uh, we've just mentioned thank you very much for listening and assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh